welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be something a little different. Now I've been wanting to do this type of video for the longest time. I just didn't know I would do it so soon because I am actually getting our guest's bathroom ready and I hadn't really worked on it because we had so many other things to do with the house. But my family is coming up in like five hours and I completely forgot to set the guest bathroom up. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I want to give you guys some tips on organizing and having a more welcoming guest bathroom so when your visitors come to your home, they feel welcomed and they just have everything they need. So let's get started with this video. We have a lot to cover. Okay, so first things first is you need to clean your bathroom. Now, I know this is pretty common sense because it's like, duh, we have to clean. But just so you know, this is the number one most important thing on the list is you don't want people to come into your bathroom and be like, ew, this is gross and it's so dirty. That's like one of my fears is when people come visit us and they see like a bathroom that is, isn't up to their standards, they get like grossed out and they talk behind your back, I guess. And I just don't like a messy, dirty bathroom. So the first thing you want to do is clean. Now, there are different things you can do, like this house is completely new, so there's not a lot of like grime and mildew and mold kind of stuff to clean, so it's going to be more of a just sparkling up the area, just wiping down with the Lysol wipe, spraying some disinfectant, that kind of stuff, nothing too, too, too intense. But if you do have a house that's been lived in for years and years, you definitely want to make sure that your caulking doesn't have mold and stuff like that. I don't know, you guys might not care and that's completely fine, but the way I am, I, I can't stand that. Like, I need to have a clean home. So definitely cleaning is the most important thing to do when you guys are going to have visitors. When decorating a guest bathroom, a tip I have is to pick a very bright, crisp white curtain. So this is very, very um, bright white. And it actually has a threading of gold across. So it's a very simple curtain, but it has some type of style to it with the stripes across. But I like a bright white because it just brightens up your bathroom. You don't want your bathroom to be dark. And fortunately for us, ours did come with a window, as you can see right there. And it just gives a really good flow to the bathroom to where it's very bright and you don't really need to turn the light on if you don't want to. And it's just very nice, white, and airy. So another tip I have is to always clean your liner in your shower. Now you can either buy a brand new one or you can just rinse it off and clean it out because we all know how nasty the liners can get in the showers. So definitely clean that out or you can also buy one at Target. A new one is like $5. So it's not too bad if you do just want to like, sometimes, I, and I was this from personal experience, sometimes you forget to clean the shower curtain liner and it gets so nasty that you're just like, I'm just buying a new one. <laughs> so it's around $5 at Target, so it's pretty affordable. So now is the fun part. Let's get to the decorating part of this video. Now, I love a guest bathroom that has everything I need in front of me. That's very important when you have guests is to make sure they feel comfortable in their areas, whether it be the, the guest bedroom or the guest bathroom, to where everything they need is in front of them. You don't want them to feel uncomfortable, even if it's your family sometimes. They might be like, oh, there's no toilet paper, I don't want to ask, I feel awkward, or there's not enough towels, I feel awkward. You definitely want to have everything that they need in front of them, and I'm going to show you a couple of ways on how to achieve that. So a perfect way to get some style into your bathroom is to use one of these trays. I got mine from Ikea. And this is normally a serving platter tray. So this is the perfect way to show your guest that they may have forgotten something as far as shampoo, conditioner, toothpaste, lotion, whatever they need. This is a really good way to just make it look all pretty in the corner right here. So that's what we're going to do right now. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to set it up and then show you guys. things I like to put on here is some to-go Clorox wipes because sometimes people will be doing their makeup and they drop something and they're just like oh my gosh or if they drop toothpaste or whatever the case is this will be a good thing to have so they won't feel awkward and they can clean it up really fast the next thing I always put is a Johnson & Johnson first aid kit just because you want them to feel comfortable if something were to happen to them 
you have a first aid kit here. The next thing is a tie to go pin. Just in case they get dirty and they want to clean up, this is a really good thing to have. I will also put some cotton swabs just in case they need some cotton swabs. Also, I do include some rubber bands because ladies, we know that we always lose a rubber band. A good thing to put. I will also place some extra conditioner and shampoo in case they forget theirs. Also, just these little body washes in case they forget their body wash. Little travel size things are perfect to add to this. I will even include men's in case they don't want to use the regular no scented one in case they want to smell like a man. I put this. I will also include some of these antibacterial hand gels in case they want to use these. This one's a girly one and this is a regular stress relief one. Of course, I will also include scope in case they need some scope. I will also include some hairspray and lastly I will include some lotion in case they need some lotion. I will also include some of this really pretty um, bath bar. Another important thing you want to do is add these plugins. These are lifesavers and they just smell so good. So this is definitely a really good tip if you don't want to light a candle or if you don't want to spray air freshener or you forget, this will already be doing that job for you. So like I said earlier, you want people to see something right here. This is a good place to put some toilet paper. So I suggest getting a really cute basket like this and just placing it here and then just add your toilet paper. Also what I like to do is I like to grab some of these dryer sheets. Just grab one and just put it all. It gives it a really good smell. It just makes it smell so much better. Mm. So another thing I like to do is use these white cotton um, scent packets. And I put them in here, and it smells so good. Find a crevice like that. And when you smell it, it just smells so good. Also, providing your guests new towels is definitely important. This is the brand that I use. You also want to provide an extra towel as well as extra toilet paper. Sway, just move with me, darling. So that's all for this video you guys. Please excuse my appearance. I know I look a hot mess, but I had to clean this bathroom up and organize it really, really quick. So this was really an impromptu type of video. So I just wanted to show you guys how I would decorate and how I would set it up. So yeah, this excuse this appearance. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below so you guys will get notified anytime I upload videos. And yeah, so also follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. Everything is at Lori Darks. And I think that's all for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.